One of the most important skills that you're going to teach to your puppy is a recall command. A solid response to the come command is really important, as well as a reliable response to name. It's going to get your puppy out of a lot of trouble before they even get into it. It's going to allow you to get out and do more with your puppy. It's also going to avoid some of those nuisance behaviors that drive you crazy. One of the biggest challenges though is that people make a huge mistake in the foundation of training this exercise. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid making that big mistake. I'm also gonna show you four different versions of the recall that you need to be aware of that's actually going to speed up your puppy training. It's the kind of recall training that we use to get those great responses. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Here at McCann Dogs, we've helped more than 100,000 dog owners to overcome the same dog training challenges that you have. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. The biggest mistake that people make when it comes to puppy recall training comes down to expectations. You're teaching your puppy a recall with the best of intentions, but you're accidentally undoing a lot of your hard work. If you can't be sure that your puppy is going to respond, what are you going to do? What other plan do you have in place uh, to train through that exercise? There's a big difference between trying to teach the recall and teaching the recall. So we need to talk about what you can do when you're not set up for success. The first recall we're going to start with is the response to name. Now this isn't a true recall, it's not a formal recall, but it's the first recall that your puppy is going to learn. We spend a lot of time when our puppies first come home teaching them what their name is. We have lots of videos here on the channel that talk about exercises like say your puppy's name then feed, uh, say your puppy's name then feed, maybe say your puppy's name and move away, bring them in nice and close. We need to start to build value on that word. We have to be really careful though that we're not using that word when we aren't in a position to uh, acknowledge the response, whether it is a pet on the head or a reward with food, uh, or maybe it's you know a game of chase after that response to name. Pooch. <laughs> Thumbs up in this video if you think puppy training might be the best workout going. Something that a lot of people do is we start to have some expectation that our puppy should know this already. We've you know practiced that name a little bit and they start using their puppy's name over and over again with very little engagement or interaction with a puppy when they do get a great response. The last thing we want is for something like this to happen. Ken. Yeah. Ken. Yes. Ken. Yes. Ken. Ken. Now your expectation should be that your puppy turns the first time, comes right to you the first time they hear that word. And we're gonna set our puppies up to be really successful in this. We're gonna show them that there's tons of value when they do respond the first time. Let's take a quick look at what that might look like when you're teaching your puppy to respond to their name the first time every time. You're gonna need some treats, some delicious treats, and have a little line or leash on your dog so you can keep control. And again, you're gonna play a little word association. You're gonna say their name, and then you're gonna lure them with some food one second later. Now, if my puppy's distracted, here's what I would do. I'm gonna get his attention. Hank, yes, good boy. When we're training our puppies, the idea here, yes, good boy, Hank, is that our puppies are 100% successful. So if he's never heard his name before and he's distracted and I say Hank five or six times and he doesn't know what to do when he hears that name, I'm teaching him from day one that he doesn't have to listen to his name. So it's important that every step right now is about teaching and learning and helping. Now he's pretty engaged with me now because he knows that I have treats in my hand, so I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Hank, and then I'm gonna feed him. Hank, then I'm gonna feed him, good boy. Hank, good, <laughs> look at his little ears come up when I say his name, Hank, Yay, good for you. Now I'm gonna let him get distracted one more time here. Look at over here. And then I'm gonna show you again. Look, it's on the ground. Hank, yay. So again, by using the food and timing when I say his name, I can successfully have my baby puppy who's only been here a few moments learning to respond to his name every single time. So you spent some time getting that perfect response to name, uh, loading value on your puppy's name. Maybe they're even turning their head before you've introduced the food lure with those great exercises that we just talked about. But you turn your back for a moment and uh, your puppy sees a leaf blow by and they start to chase it. What are you going to do? You know, after all of this discussion, that you shouldn't call your puppy's name in a situation where they aren't likely to be successful. You need an informal response to name. And this is the kind of thing where you're 
response to name will be solidified if you understand when to use it correctly and when you should use this alternative. So if you're not in a situation where you can reinforce your dog or for that everyday use, you know, around your house where your puppy might make a mistake where you're not really sure how they're going to respond, having this informal response to name is going to be real. I know it's very exciting. We're going to work in just a second. <laughs> having this in informal word that you use is going to be really helpful. Now pick something short. Tonality makes a difference, so keep it light and fun. This is all about motivation, and this is basically a throwaway command. This is the kind of stuff that you're going to use really early on so that you get a response from your puppy, but if they don't respond right away, it doesn't really make a big difference. Now, Smooch is pretty distracted. He's chewing on the grass. There's all sorts of things out here, but I'm gonna choose, choose a short word that he might think sounds fun. Rather than calling his name and insisting on uh, getting some kind of response, I'm just gonna do something like, pu -pu -pu puppy ah, go It'd be really exciting. But again, if he didn't respond to, pu -pu 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 oh, good boy. Pu -pu 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 I'm just really keeping it fun and reinforcing the fact that when he turns, pu -pu 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 boy. <laughs> and I want it to be all about the excitement. And this is really how I'm going to engage him when I'm not insisting that he responds to his name. Now, actually, when I picked Smooch up today from his owner, she mentioned that in their household, they also use an informal command because they have kids. If you have kids in the house, having an informal command is going to be so helpful because your kids are naturally going to want to play with the puppy and engage with them and likely repeat their name over and over again. So in their household, they use something like Uppy and uh, Smooch seems to respond to it each and every time really, really well. But if he doesn't, that's okay too. Pu -pu 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 Let's talk about an even more important skill, your dog's formal recall. Maybe you'll use something like the come command for this. And uh, I can't stress enough, this skill can be a lifesaver for your dog. We hear it time and time again from our students that uh, their dog ran out the door when someone wasn't paying attention or their dog was chasing after an animal and they called come and the dog turned around. Uh, and, and personally, I remember when I was in grade four years ago with my puppy, uh, she wasn't a puppy, she was an adult dog then, but uh, we were going for a walk. Uh, she saw a rabbit started to chase a rabbit towards a busy street I yelled come she turned around but I'd spent a lot of time focusing on building value for that word and I completely removed the word come from my vocabulary when I wasn't training it I want you to really focus on What's motivating your dog? So get them really excited about something. We talk a lot about restraint recalls in our training and it's a really valuable tool, whether you're teaching response to name or your come command, especially for the come command though, you get your dog really motivated, really excited, and then you release them on the word come. Now, this is a the foundational step that your puppy needs. People always ask us, you know, how do you get your dogs to, to, to train so quickly? Or, you know, why, why do you guys use dogs that listen? It's because we never give those dogs an opportunity to be wrong in the beginning. We're really setting the groundwork here for a, a, an incredible come command command. We use some tips and tricks, kind of like the ones we just talked about in that response to name. So we have an informal version of the recall. So when you're teaching your puppy the come command, I want you to never use that word unless you're training it. Your, your come is your emergency backup. So you never want your puppy to hear it without thinking that there's going to be some amazing reward uh, that comes following it, comes from you. Let's take a look at what, what uh, the informal recall might look like so that you stop overusing that word come in your training. Now our informal recall is going to look a little bit like the last exercise that we worked on. Um, our expectations are the same. We hope our puppy turns, but we're going to use it when we just aren't sure. Or we're going to use this informal recall when maybe we don't have any way to back it up, really make it exciting or reward our puppy for being successful. We're going to rely a little bit on our already worked on response to name exercise and I'll show you, I'm going to show you exactly how that's going to work. Now you can use whatever word you want when you're uh, practicing your informal recall and I'm going to use the word here. Uh, again, kind of like the, the last exercise, we want to keep it light, tonality is important, keep it fun, and uh, really reinforce for your puppy that this word means good things are going to happen. Now we've worked a little bit with Smooch uh, in a couple of previous videos where we talked about response to name. So you guys know that when he hears that name, uh, he'll, he's likely to follow food lure, and that's important for this step. You can see he's pretty distracted by uh, digging in the grass and checking stuff out around. But here's how I'm going to incorporate that informal recall into this response to name exercise. This is exactly what I want you to do at home. Smooch. Yay, here, 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 here. Good boy. 
Good job. Now, by simply repeating that here command, I'm loading value, really uh, associating that word with good things as he moves towards me. Let's get him distracted again. Smooch. Here, here, here. Yay, good boy. And again, as with any exercise where I'm trying to build a little value on me, I'm feeding him nice and close. Here means get in close to me. Get as close as you can. My knuckles are literally touching my shins. I'm gonna reload, we'll do one more time. We'll make it a little bit harder. I'll uh, maybe even see if we get a response. We'll test his response today and see what we get. Smooch, here, 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 yay, good boy. Now as we work on this here, good boy. We're going to start to be able to use here independent of that name. Smooch, here, here, good boy. Very nice, buddy. And that's exactly how you're going to have two versions of that recall. One that means make your way over to me, but you also are going to have that come command. That's an absolutely definitive get, get to me as quickly as you can, and you don't accidentally water down that word. Now we've used food as a reward for our puppies in this video, but there's some really big mistakes that people make when it comes to treat training with a puppy. And if you want to avoid making some of those mistakes yourself, click that card right there. And if you're looking for some personalized help with your specific puppy training plan, make sure you check out the link in the description below to our Puppy Essentials training program, where you can work with one of our McCann Dogs instructors to make sure your puppy is getting the best information possible. And on that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.